first and foremost sorry for the echo ob we're in my bathroom hi guys welcome back to my channel cocky retrospect here so i just filmed a wash day routine but the reason why i'm actually making this video is because today i was watching a youtube video and a girl was doing her wash day routine and realized that there was water spilling all over her floor but before i'd watched hers i had actually shot one for me so video coming soon but there's a very simple way to prevent water from spilling all over your floor of course it's not 100 percent foolproof but it definitely does help and all you need are three things so a tension rod and this one's pretty cheap i got it for about eight bucks from home depot and two other things that you probably already have which are shower curtain and shower curtain rings and that's it so i'll go ahead and show you exactly how easy it is to prevent water from falling all over your floor while you film those wonderful fantabulous wash day routine videos okay stay tuned start by removing your shower curtain from the shower rod i think we already know where this is going but i feel like the visual would be helpful. So here it is, hold on. Okay, great. So now that we have the shower curtain down, we're just gonna go ahead and adjust our tension rod. So let's go ahead and do that. You wanna make sure that the tension rod is definitely bigger than your bathtub. I know that there are ones that go up to 48 inches, but I think the size of a regular bathtub is about 60 inches. So the one that I got fits bathtubs that are about 48 to 84 inches in length. So we're just going to loosen up this screw. You want to move the spring down until it just can't go anymore and then you want to move the screw down to meet the spring and then once it looks something like that you just want to go ahead and tighten that so now it's ready to use so if you're already set up with your camera and your bathroom and everything like that i would highly suggest to do this while you are in the shower so that you don't have to like hop over the rod or under the rod to like actually get into the shower but since i'm not gonna be filming right now i'm just gonna do it outside of the shower okay so i went ahead and installed it a little higher than i had it just so that it can be in frame but this is what it looks like i'm sure that a lot of you guys have already used a tension rod before but just gotta show it. So it runs from this side to that side. So I turn on my light just so you guys can see it a bit better. But yeah, and so then you just go ahead, add your rings and your shower curtain, and then I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, great. So my shower curtain is now attached to the tension rod that I have. So now you have like excess shower curtain in your tub and just in case you don't wanna like step on that while you're like shampooing your hair and like accidentally fall, you can always use clips to kind of like fold the shower curtain in half and I'll show you what that looks like as well. Okay, great, so we're all set. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like from the outside. I pushed in the shower curtain so that none of the water falls outside. And then my shower curtain has the little magnet that helps to attach it to your tub so the center falls for me. So I also have this clip too. I don't use these for my hair or anything, but they really do just help to DIY this project. So this is what it looks like from the inside. And then we can turn on the water and see how it works. So the water's going, but no water is falling on the ground. Voila. So the water is going and I know it's really kind of hard to see it. There you go. So you can see the water a bit better now. It's falling all inside the tub. And that is your little setup for washing your hair on wash day, wanting to film it, but not wanting to flood your entire bathroom. Now, like I said, it's not 100% foolproof. Obviously, 
you're standing up taller than the shower rod so water could potentially fall onto the ground but this does help no flood you're welcome let me turn off this water wasting water girl but yeah like i said it's a really easy and cheap way to make sure that you aren't flooding your bathroom the clips you can obviously find them at any beauty supply store you don't even particularly need these kind of clips you can also just cut the shower curtain down in half so that you don't have to clip it and then you can also just like buy a separate set of like shower rings and a shower curtain and then just leave it on the shower rod so that you don't have to be bothered the next time you actually want to do this but i didn't want to have to purchase a whole new shower curtain and shower rings because i was just like let's make this as frugal as possible so yeah that's my little diy behind the scenes <laughs> And I hope that you guys can make good use of that. So yeah, I really hope that that helped with your next wash day that you want to film. Um, let me know if you have any questions. But yeah, I didn't even look it up before I did it. I was just like, oh, this might be a pretty good DIY for somebody who may need help in that department. But there can never be too much good advice on the internet. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed it. Pass it along to anybody that you think it may be of use. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.